we're going to take a look at the binomial theorem. And the binomial theorem can help us to expand binomials. I'll give you an example of a binomial. Remember, a binomial means two terms. So there's a binomial x minus 3. And say we had to square that. Well, you would remember that x minus 3 squared means x minus 3 times x minus 3. And we could distribute this out. And x times x is x squared. x times minus 3 is minus 3x. Then negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. We would simplify by collecting our like terms. And we would get this. Well, what if I said to you, OK, let's do this one. Well, you could write this as x plus 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 2, and work that out, and then multiply all of that in there, and then multiply all those by x plus 2, get a whole pile of stuff and simplify them. But it turns out that when you expand a binomial, when you have a binomial raised to some power, that the coefficients always follow a pattern. And watch watch how the pattern works. So the exponent is 4. So I'm going to start with 4 choose 0. And then I take the first term, which is x, and I raise it entirely to the power of 4. And the second term, which is 2, and raise it to the power of 0. This would be your first term if you were to multiply this out 4 times. The next term would simply be 4 choose 1. The first term, which is x to the power of 3, so now there's one less. The second term, whoops, which is 2, to the power of 1. And then I would continue this pattern. So 4 choose 0, 4 choose 1, 4 choose 2. First term now down to the power of 2. The second term, which is now up to the power of 2. And continue the pattern until finally we get to 4 choose 4, we get to x to the power of 0 and 2 to the power of 4. So look at how the pattern's gone here. We started with 4 choose 0, 4 coming from the exponent, and then we went 4 choose 1, 4 choose 2, 4 choose 3, 4 choose 4. In our first term, it was, it was the first term here, x, entirely raised to the exponent of 4, and the second term, 2, raised to the power of 0. And then as we continue on, the first term exponent goes down by 1 each time, and the second term exponent goes up by 1 each time. And so we get this. And it's really just a matter of memorizing the pattern as you expand these, because now it's just a matter of simplifying this out. So 4 choose 0 is 1. x to the power of 4, well, that's x to the power of 4. And 2 to the power of 0 is 1. 4 choose 1 would be 4. x cubed. 2 to the power of 1 is 2. 4 choose 2 is uh, 6. x squared, 2 squared is 4. 4 choose 3 is 4. x to the power of 1 is x. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. 4 choose 4 is 1. x to the power of 0 is 1. 2 to the power of 4 is 16. And now, finally, we can multiply our coefficients. 1 times 1 is 1, so this would be x to the power of 4 plus 4 times 2 is 8. 8x cubed plus 6 times 4 is 24x squared. Uh, 8 times 4, 32x plus 16. And so this would be this expression if you were to multiply it out four times. What if we had one like this? Well, first term is 2x, so we're going to start with the exponent of 3, so 3 choose 0. First term is 2x to the power of 3. The second term here is minus 3 to the power of 0. And then continue with the pattern, so we'll up this by 1 decrease this exponent by 1, increase the second term by 1. Then 3 choose 2, 2x to the power of 1, 
negative 3 to the power of 2. And finally, we at 3 choose 3. We should have nothing left on the first exponent, or the first uh, term, and the entire exponent 3 on our last term. It's at the tidy up stage now, so 3 choose 0 is 1. Got to cube this, so 2x times 2x times 2x. Don't forget you have to cube the 2 out, right? So 2 times 2 times 2 is 8x cubed. Lots of students just cube the x, but our first term is 2x. We need to cube the whole thing. Negative 3 to the power of 0 is 1. 3 choose 1 is 3. Square this, so 4x squared times negative 3. 3 choose 2 is 3. 2x to the power of 1 is 2x. Careful here when we're squaring a negative, a negative times a negative, a positive 9. 3 times, or 3 choose 3 is 1. 2x to the power of 0 is 1. And negative 3 to the power of 3 is negative 27. Finally, 1 times 8 times 1 is 8x cubed. Uh, 3 times 4 is 12. 12 times minus 3 is negative 36x squared. So be careful with the signs here. Uh, 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 9, so 54x. And 1 times 1 times negative 27 is negative 27. So that's how we can use, that's what the binomial theorem allows us to do. It allows us to use a pattern to expand binomials. Now there's a little expression here that allows us to find a specific term in the binomial expansion. So if we want to find a specific term then we can use this formula t of k plus 1 is equal to n c k first term x to the power of n minus k times the second term y to the power of k. So say, let's look at this example that we had here before x plus 2 to the power of 4. Say we wanted to find the third term. So I wanted to find t3. Well, that would mean if I want to find the third term, then k would need to be 2, because 2 plus 1 would make 3. So in this example, we're going to say k would be 2, because I'm finding the third term. n is your exponent, which is 4. The first term, x, is x. And the second term, y, is 2. So if I want to find the third term, that would be 4. Just filling in the numbers here. 4 choose 2. The first term, which is x, to the power of n minus k. So that would be 4 minus 2. And the second term, y. Oh, sorry, this, our second term is 2 in this example. So second term, 2, to the power of k and k is 2. So this would tidy up to 4 choose 2, x to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 2. And when you look at our third term in here, you can see that's actually what we had. 4 choose 2, x to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 2. So this formula allows us to find a specific term in our, in our sequence here, so we don't have to do the pattern all the way there to find it. And of course, when we work that out, we got this one. 24x squared. So if we had something like this, uh, x minus 2y to the power of 7, let's say, and say I wanted to find the fifth term in here, didn't know what the fifth term was, well, I could use the formula, tk plus 1 is equal to n choose k, x to the power of n minus k times y to the power of k. And uh, so now let's figure out what k is. So k would equal, k would need to be 4, so that 4 plus 1 makes our fifth term. So k is always 1 less than the term that you're trying to find. Uh, n is the exponent, that's 7. The first term is x and the second term is negative 2y. So t5 is going to be n choose k, so 7 choose 5. The first term, which is x, to the power of n minus k, so 7 minus 4, which is 3. The second term, which is negative 2y, to the power of k, which is 4. 
I'm getting the calculator out here. 7 uh, 7C5 21 times x cubed times negative 2 to the power 4 32 nope 16 positive 16 and y4 and getting her out here one more time for 21 times 16 336 x cubed y4 so if you were expanding this thing seven times the fifth term in that row would be 336 x cubed y4 so that's the binomial theorem on how we can expand uh, binomials and also how we can use a formula to find specific terms in the sequence.